Windows Phone in 2020. So if you remember, Microsoft had launched Windows Phone back in 2010. These phones had a great potential in them. But then back in 2010, as Android and iOS were developing at a faster rate, Windows just could not survive on phones. So now let us have a look on Nokia Lumia 720. So this phone was launched in 2013. performance on this device is not compromised and we can say that it is not aged much although going to store we can see that store is just not opening and we are getting an error message this is so because microsoft has ended their store service for windows phone 8 on december 16th for those who have not installed windows insider app they are just locked in as they can't even upgrade to windows 10 nor can they install other apps Although there are ways to sideload apps it's just not user friendly so if anyone from Microsoft is seeing this video i would request them to give back store support for windows phones Now going to the settings menu this is how the panel looks Windows operating system on phones was much more stable than android Today i'm having an android phone with about 512 MB of ram and a windows phone which i'm using now Today that Android phone with 512 MB of RAM has become very laggy and is not able to load latest app on time. Now coming to durability of this phone, the durability of this phone is quite okay and I had to replace the glass once. Speaking about the back panel, it does not have any scratches. But coming to the top portion, you will find that the SIM tray is broken. I would say that this phone is quite durable as it's still working even after 6 or 6 and a half years. Now going to about section of this phone. Over here as you can see, it's a Nokia Lumia 720 based on Windows 8. This is a quite interesting device. So if you want to make me more videos on this device, I'll target up to 30 likes and also do comment. So how can you use a phone where you'll not even get a store working? Basically, I use this device for browsing and see videos on YouTube. Sometimes I shift my SIM into this device when I need a hotspot. I also use calling when I am testing some things on my primary device. So that's it for today. If you want more videos regarding Windows Phone, you can comment down about the topic which you want. If you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe for more updates.